Hi guys, I've called this video um, Living with Lewin Bodies because I don't like to say that I'm suffering from Lewin Bodies or that I'm dying with Lewin Bodies and I'd like to put a positive um, face on this awful disease even though it is it's, it's an awful disease uh, for the very same reason that I said that we celebrate Dementia Awareness Day um, purely because we celebrate uh, the people's lives who we've lost to this awful disease and celebrate all that was good about them and what they did and also we also celebrate those that um, are living with this disease like myself and millions of others in the moment who are just trying to do our best to get through now if anybody's not quite sure what Lewy Bodies is it's actually purported to be the second largest type of dementia in the world even though not many people know about it now, I've often said in blogs that it's like having two diseases. It's having it and knowing you have it. Because sometimes when you do strange and weird and wonderful things, I can sit there after and think, why the devil did I do that? And whatever made me do that? But yet, I've done it and I have no rhyme or reason for doing it and I don't know why. Um, it's as though I wrote in the blog earlier today, it's, it's, it's as though... Lower bodies has got this remote control that um, seems to control what we do and what we say. But um, because believe me, it's not just the night time. Mean, sometimes I'll come out with things, that, and I thought after, I can't believe I just said that. Um, it's never usually nasty, but it's sometimes it be quite cutting, and then sometimes I just don't think. It's as though somebody switches a flicks a switch, and uh, off I go. I don't know, I don't know what, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to this, this disease at all. Uh, the night terrors are just horrendous. If you can imagine being really, really tired and then going to sleep thinking, I need to sleep. And then you wake up the following morning thinking, I don't feel like I've slept at all. And then I've only got to take one look at Elaine, my wife, and my angel, and see the rings under her eyes. And how tired she looks to know. <clears throat> to know how tired she gets. Because I've been up all night. Uh, recently I've been up during the night. I've been shouting, falling. I don't remember it most of the time. Um, one time, I oh know, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. Every day blends into one, I'm afraid. Um, but I do remember waking up in the middle of the night as though the devil himself was coming down to get me and the noise I made I tried to replicate this noise quite what the neighbours think during the day but I tried to replicate this noise once during the day yesterday or the day before and I couldn't I couldn't because it was a noise that was absolutely because I was so petrified and whatever was happening I just have a a flashback of looking up, the sky was blood red and something was coming down which was blood red with a hand and an arm to grab me. It was one of the most horrific things I've ever been through and I just barely remember it, thankfully. But apparently I've been like that for a couple of hours, running around, trying to find an escape, trying to find a way out. There's no normal normality to this, there's no Ram or reason to it. I've just been asked actually. Um, do you think it relates to events from the past and happenings of the past? And um, I'm in the villain of a notice that it's anything from my from my maybe my childhood or my past or anything. Um, but apparently not. So it doesn't relate to anything like that. It is just so random when it happens, and it's just just such such a bad disease. It's yes. Yesterday I was in the front room. And I thought I saw shadows dancing in the curtains and people dancing behind them. And I jumped and I screamed to Elaine. I said, who's them? Who are them? What are they doing? I couldn't, I just couldn't believe. There was somebody in my house, there were shadows I couldn't see. And apparently all it was was uh, the shadow from the curry next door watching the lady's garden. But I was petrified, absolutely shaking. The slightest noise these days seems to make me jump out my skin. 
it's more so at night, it's more so in the evening because I do believe that's what's known as sundowning. Um, and if anybody don't, doesn't know, excuse me, it's your nose. If anybody doesn't know um, what sundowning is, it's where you gradually get worse during the day, as, during the day, as in as when the sun comes down, um, is the easy explanation really. And it's just that you feel worse as the day goes on, but it doesn't always happen like that. I woke up yesterday morning and put the tea towel in the sink, and I went to put the bread in the oven and two or three different things. If you can hear a little bleeping noise, that's my phone going off. Excuse me. It just shows it's live. Thank you. Um, and I, I, I just do some weird and wonderful things. And I, I still quite often throw all the cookery away and the plates away when I've had my lunch or my dinner. Um, do I think I'm getting worse? I don't know. I do believe my night times are getting worse and I do believe it's affecting more of my days even more than what it did do before. But I just thought I'd try and do this video to try and explain to people um, what it's like to not understand these hallucinations or these things you go through. But it's a habit, it's a habit, it's like, it's like a madness inside your mind that's chipping away all the time, never gives up goes on and on and on and it's unbearable at times it's heartbreaking but you've got to be strong I've got to be strong I've got a wonderful wife I've got a fantastic bunch of friends you guys out there I love my family to death I wouldn't there's nothing I wouldn't do for them before the illness let alone now but you've got to be strong for them you've got to be strong when my grandchildren look me in the eye and say, Grandad, are you dying? I've got to lie to them. I've got to tell them lies. I have never lied to my grandchildren. I've told a few, invented a few stories of dragons and demons and, and witches and um, when I wrote my books and stories for them. Of course, children sh children's imagination should run away. That's why the children, um, I think the children, they're not children long enough. Um, but to actually lie to them and tell them that, oh, don't worry, Grandad will be fine. Knowing full well that maybe in a week, two weeks, a month, that I might not even recognise them. It's just unbearable. And it does get to you sometimes. It really does, you know. And it's, it's hard to explain. There's more to Louis bodies than what I've actually just been speaking about, quite obviously. Um, but I hope this has given you a little bit of an insight. And if anybody knows anybody who thinks they may have Lewy bodies instead of Alzheimer's type disease or vascular type or Pick's disease or uh, frontal lobal disease, please ask for a second opinion because some of the medications can actually do you harm. It can actually do them harm, especially the antipsychotics. Antipsychotics are no good for people with Lewy bodies. In my opinion, I am not a doctor, and I'll probably get loads of people saying, oh, well, they work for me. That's great if it works for you. I personally believe, and I've been told by a GP and consultant, that in some cases they can actually do, do you great harm. Um, I'm not a believer in antipsychotics anyway, and um, so I will hopefully not take them even when I get to that stage. Well, I won't know because I've got Lewy bodies. But when I was first misdiagnosed with Alzheimer's, um, it would have been quite possible I was given these drugs and it could have made me much, much worse and um, brought the dementia on a lot quicker. So I wouldn't be here now talking to you as I am. Well, that's about it for me. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm just hoping that this, uh, this video will help you understand. And to all you curvers out there and all you loved ones out there, who look after people like me, then God bless each and every one of you, because what I go through, you must go through ten times worse. I don't know how I stay awake half the time, I don't know how my angel stays awake half the time, and I don't know how you guys function half the time, but thank the Lord you do, and thank you for everything you're doing, and done in the past. We'll speak soon. Tati bye for now. Bye.